Hey, Jack. Apology. That's what they call now. Thank you very much for your apology. I can understand you wouldn't wouldn't realize your cyber bullying was so serious. As you're still young, but it is. Unfortunately, there's been people. Okay, there's one case in Eastern U.S. right now where a girl of 14 committed suicide after being cyber bullied by an adult. That's why the police take it so seriously. You may have thought you were just having fun, but it's a rather serious crime now. We'll not take further action with the police. See, it doesn't happen again. And as for leaving the internet, don't. There's a lot of resources out there to learn from. One of the things I know I enjoy is there's a site called Web Subscriptions. If you're into science fiction, you can actually download books in there, and they have a free library of about probably 50 books in it. All pretty much current authors. And if you know a lot about Islam, which you seem to know a bit about, why not set up a new page on YouTube to discuss Islam? I think you'll find you get a lot of people there willing to talk about it. But don't push it, as it's the only way to go. Look at the passage in the Quran that says there should be no compulsion in religion, which unfortunately is abused a lot in parts of the Muslim world. And you're quite welcome to write me anytime you want. I'm more than happy to talk to anybody. I just don't care to get into insult matches and things like that are going on. They really bother me. Not that I can't take them, I just don't like them. But thank you very much for your apology. And it has been passed on to the other people. And something you may need to realize too is I'm disabled, yes. But for a disabled person, you have two choices when you become disabled. You know, I'd lie down and not do a damn thing, or you can get up and fight and try to regain what you lost. It's been about seven very long years since the last stroke. I've gone from being able to walk the most two or three steps be able to walk maybe 100 feet. Any further than that, my left leg gets up and I'm on the ground. And I don't know about you, but I don't, I'd rather not fall down. I know how to fall, but it doesn't mean I want to. It takes too much people to help me get back up. And that's simply because the left leg is, my left arm are too weak to help myself up with. But you'll find most of the disabled people, like myself, are more than willing to fight what we think is right because we're always fighting to try and regain things. When I was your age, Jihadic, I loved to go hiking. For me, a 10 mile hike in the woods is absolutely heaven. And it's something I really miss. And I hope one day to be able to do it again. But again, thank you for your apology. And you get back on the neck for heaven's sake. You made a fool of yourself, big deal. Learn from it. I'm not saying I have made a fool of myself. I know they have. But you learn from it. That's part of living. So you have a good day and a good Christmas. Or in your case, you since you're Muslim, instead of you from Iran, so you'd have been born Muslim, have a happy end of year um, celebration. I'm not sure which one Muslim, what Muslims call it. I wouldn't mind learning, actually. So I have no desire to become a Muslim myself. Have a good day. Hopefully we'll hear from you sometime.